Welcome back to Hannity. A brand new investigation conducted by the House Oversight Committee reveals that IRS staffers are now directly blaming the president and his anti-Tea Party agenda for triggering the tax agency's efforts to target conservatives. Now, the report reads in part, quote, as the Obama administration bemoaned the shadowy influence of the so-called special interest groups, the IRS was not unaffected by this political rhetoric. Now, evidence available to the committee shows that the IRS was acutely aware of this public rhetoric and that the initial Tea Party applications were first identified and elevated due to this media attention. But who can blame them? After all, following a 2011 meeting on the debt with Congressional Tea Party members, Vice President Joe Biden was overheard saying, quote, they have acted like terrorists. And that was just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the left's disgraceful comments about the Tea Party movement. Remember this. I think they're asked to have, uh, oh, you be the judge of carrying swastikas and symbols like that to a town meeting on health care. Here's the deal here. I mean, I, I happen to agree with David. I think this is a Tea Party problem. I think they're totally unreasonable and doctrinaire and not founded in reality. I think they've been smoking some of that tea, not just drinking it. I'm not afraid of anybody. This is a tough game. You can't be intimidated. You can't be frightened. As far as I'm concerned, the Tea Party can go straight to hell. Some of these folks type of rhetoric was encouraged at the highest levels of the Democratic Party and sadly we now have confirmation that in fact it did encourage the IRS to target conservatives. Here with reaction, the co-host of The Five, Bob Beckel, Fox News contributor, Jedediah Bila. Straight to hell, let's see, they want us hanging from trees, they're terrorists. Anything you want to add, Bob? No, no, I think that covers it. I, I uh, Listen, the idea that we would open this thing by saying a couple of IRS employees said that they were encouraged by the President of the United States leaves the impression that the President of the United States told them to do that, which there is no, absolutely no evidence that's of. Not, one. No, that's not what it said. You didn't read the report. It says. it says that he created an ambiance that encouraged that kind of behavior. It doesn't say the President got on the phone and called these employees. No, and he said, created an ambiance. Listen, yeah, he we were creating an ambiance about the Tea Party. The Tea Party was against us. Do you understand that? And so when they're against us, we're going to say things but about that. But they weren't that. doing anything illegal. They weren't doing anything Who was that doing anything warranted. Illegal? They weren't doing anything that warranted what, the what IRS illegal? going after them. And if that's illegal, them. somebody should be arrested, shouldn't they? They weren't doing anything to warrant that. Uh, why President don't they President get arrested? Obama went after the Citizens United decision in 2010. You couple that with the media of course that we should loved go. going after the Tea Party. You couple that with all the clips that we just showed: Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, leaders in the Democrat Party saying the Tea Party is either astro. Have you ever been to a Tea racist. Party rally? That created an obvious. Yes, yes. And you have, and you've. You've heard the anti Obama rhetoric? It's, it, it's as it. bad as, it. as anything that's, else. No. That's oh, that's ridiculous. That's Obama policy rhetoric. They're not going after the man, they're going after the they policy. Lower they want lower taxes, broke constitution. Lower taxes, limited yeah. government. Listen, they don't want Obama. They care. were against us in the last presidential election, which means so, we're going to be against them. So you're going to call them what? terrorists? Want, wish I them didn't straight call them to terrorists. hell and I'm say that they want us hanging from trees? I don't think that's necessary rhetoric. Well, I don't you said, wait, say that. I asked you what they said, and you said that's just about covers it. You just, yeah, you just I was, put. You, I was making half of a joke, which clearly is not working at this table tonight. But uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, I must have missed the that fact one. of the matter <laughs> is that what we're saying here, what they're saying is the Tea Party was dedicated. Tax exempt, by the way, many of them were dedicated. To doing political activity, which was illegal. What is that? That wasn't illegal. And what does that have to do? Of course, do? it's illegal. If you say these groups oppose Obama's policy, what does that have to do with the fact that they were targeted? They're allowed to conduct a certain degree of political activity. That's part of what they're supposed they to do. They were targeted. What that happened to them? That doesn't justify targeting. Did any of them get groups? pulled in? Did any of them have their records pulled? Out? I mean, did anybody have their taxes of status they pulled? They were no. delayed significantly. Some of those uh, groups are still waiting for approval. They were, they were, they were also asking personal information that they don't ask Donor other people, and they were denied. 
I, I, I agree. But there's one other thing that we learned. Let me a little bit far, but that didn't get so the administration. We also had Lois Lerner, who pled the fifth, and we now know why. The emails that were released last week showed that at every level, when they said these were rogue agents in Cincinnati, that that was a lie, that this was all run through Washington, as we suspected in the beginning. Right, and she's also, you know, she got paid for a long time after that. She got well, that, released. That's she, part she of the deal, but she should have been gone a long time ago. She should have been gone a long time. I agree with that. Be, be being paid for I, that I, as well. I, I agree with that, but listen, in politics, it's a tough business. When you've got your enemies identified, you do what you can do legally to make their jobs that much more difficult to be against you. That doesn't mean the IRS goes out. Now, listen, if you oppose the IRS targeting liberals, which I do as well, based on their political ideology, you have to, you have to oppose I, I them was, targeting... I was on Nixon's enemies list. I mean, what, what, so what is that but all this about? this was an election season. This was hindering the ability of these groups to get out and do um, the work that they Around during the election do. season. I, I got a question for being Hang on. Let me ask this. So you, just to be clear political. here, you don't have a problem with the government, with all its power and all its might, coming down on groups of people, certain Americans, because of their political beliefs, you think that's okay? No, I don't think it's okay. But I think but that's that what there, is, there is, yes, but there is a climate created, and I agree with this. I agree with the premise of your story. There's a climate created when we think the Tea Parties are solidly against us, getting tax exempt status for things that were obviously political, and that's illegal. And when we, we identify that, then of course people in the administration are going to say, well, if the bosses don't Target like it, them? then we'll go after We're going to target. So, so if you have a Republican administration and you have a bunch of, of left-wing groups that go against the president, are now, is that Republican administration and the IRS now entitled it to target It is the group I was in, the National Committee for Effective that Congress was targeted. That shouldn't be allowed. We well, should, this is something it shouldn't be allowed. Right, let's let's, right let's let both sides play the same. You think it should, be, it should be allowed, you get a tax exempt, and then you go out and do politics? But you had 162 groups targeting you, you. 11 you were progressive. Do you agree with me that these people are getting tax exempt status, like Carl Rove and other people, that they should be allowed to do political activity? Yes. You're allowed to do a degree Why? of it's against political the law. No, it's not. As lo it's a First Amendment right. As long as that's not the majority. If you're a 501c3 or 501c4. 501c4. Yeah, well. As long as it's not a majority of what you're doing. There's there's research, there's education, there's numerous things uh, that those places do. Research and education. It was solidly. It nothing to do with most, All these things were solidly dedicated to putting ads uh, on the air, ripping Obama apart. The, 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 prob the, the problem is liberal groups of a similar nature were granted their status. So Why? they're targeting people because of their political beliefs. Disproportionately. Yeah, that's, that's, listen, if you're, as I get back to saying this, you all live in equal fantasy justice land. Under the law, this Bob. is a, a climate when you're in an equal election like this. Equal justice under the law, Bob. Equal justice under the law. It sounds wonderful when you say it right now. It wasn't wonderful when the Republicans were doing it to us. You're going to use the power of the federal government to come down and I'm punish people because of their beliefs. The premise of your opening was that there are people who felt, because of the anti-Tea Party Senate administration, Bob, that they should, they should Bob, go after that themselves. that is the foundation of tyranny, my friend. I'll get out of here. These officials are coming out and saying the media played a role. They're saying that the rhetoric that existed that was anti PT party coming from right. left wing politicians played a role. Did you They're make the same complaint you. when Dick Cheney came up with phony uh, uh, intelligence and got oh, us into a war in, in uh, Iraq? Bob, Let's let just it divert rest. attention let away it rest. from the oh, that's, that's not bad. You lose 10,000 people. Uh, that's okay. But doing a few targeted Tea parties.